Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Wangen, the founder of the IBS Treatment Center. If you've gone to the doctor or to the emergency room for severe abdominal pain and you've subsequently left the doctor's office or the ER without an answer for why you have that pain, you'll be shocked to learn that you are in very good company. A large, large 10-year study of U.S. hospitals found that millions of people visit the emergency each year for abdominal pain. In fact, abdominal pain is the number one non-trauma reason that people visit the emergency room. So it's why most people who don't have a, an accident are going to the emergency room. But what's more shocking than that, I think, and more troubling than that, is that of the 12 million people a year who go to the emergency room for abdominal pain, the majority of them, and I mean the huge majority, 83% or so, walk away without a serious diagnosis. So what that means is they walk away that still suffering from the same pain that they went in with. And if you've had this problem, the same problem, you probably thought that you were the exception, right? I mean, you thought you were the rare person who went to the ER and whose problem could be identified, but the opposite is true. In fact, you are the norm. You're one of the huge, vast majority of people who go to the ER with abdominal pain and don't get an answer. So now there's a reason for this, but emergency medical people, right, that team, they routinely, obviously they're all the time seeing people with abdominal pain, but what they're looking for are things like appendicitis and gallstones and pancreatitis and bowel obstructions and internal bleeding, right, and kidney problems and pregnancy that people aren't aware of. So most are, people are found to not have any of these things. So nothing could be identified, right, because that's what they were looking for in the ER. The only thing that could be identified was that you were in pain. And this pain is, of course, super obvious to you, but the cause of the pain is not obvious to anybody. They're not able to find it. It's just a complete mystery, even to the emergency medical experts, right? Now, so one reason that emergency room doctors are not able to diagnose most abdominal pain is because they're set up to save your life, right? When your abdominal pain is potentially related to a life-threatening issue, then the ER is going to figure it out. They're going to find it, they're going to find the problem, and they're going to save your life. But they are trained experts at that, right? That They're trained at finding problems that can kill you and then quickly responding, right? And using procedures and medications and drugs, surgery to save your life. That's what the system's really awesome at. Super valuable if that's what you need. And compared to a long time ago, right? 50 years ago, modern medicine is amazing. It's incredible. But what if it feels like the pain is life-threatening, but it's really quality of life threatening? If that's the case, like most abdominal pain, seen in the emergency room, then the ER is poorly equipped to find and treat the problem. And it doesn't matter if you go to your local hospital or some big name hospital or even the Mayo Clinic, it's the same story. They've got the same background, the same training, right? The outcome's usually gonna be the same. So many of our patients who come to us, who come to the IBS Treatment Center, have had this exact same experience that I'm describing. They've been to fine institutions, right? Well-respected hospitals, and they've had unbearable but not life-threatening abdominal pain or stomach pain or whatever you want to call it, right? And they've been sent home with, the, with basically just that diagnosis of, well, yep, you've got abdominal pain and nobody knew what to do. I can't even begin to remember the number of patients that we've seen where that's happened. And that's fine by me and by us. And the reason is because we're not going to repeat and do what they do at those places, right? We're going to go in a completely different direction. We're gonna work on finding out exactly what is causing your abdominal pain. We're not gonna look at the life-threatening issues. We're gonna look at the plethora of other things that can cause these kinds of symptoms. So to learn more about that, about what we do and how we do, visit our website at ibstreamentcenter.com and sign up for my webinar where I go into huge detail on exactly what it is we do and how we do it. Thank you for listening to me and I truly hope that you never have to suffer from abdominal pain again.